I'll say Trump has improved my life in immense ways. After I came out as pro-Trump, I was fired. A lot of people in New York said he'll never, he'll never get a job again, he'll never fit in in New York again, his career is over. And it's, it's very funny now. I have a much better job. Do you remember during the Republican National Convention there was sort of a you know, deliberately controversial, deliberately provocative pro-Trump event? There were these big pseudo-porny pictures. Literally, the guy who took those photos is now an accredited White House correspondent. The Aryan Trump twink photo guy. They gave that guy a White House press pass. I'm the youngest gay White House correspondent um, in history. There is, in the same sense as there are careers on the left uh, playing off of identity politics, there are careers on the right playing off of uh, leftist overreaction. If you want to annoy somebody, if you want to piss your parents off, if you want to be ejected from polite society, as this poor angel has been, <laughs> there is no better way to do it than to cast a vote for Donald Trump. The first day in the briefing room, one guy came up to me, hi, I'm Jake. I said, hi, uh, Jake, I extended my hand. He withdrew his hand and said, I know exactly who you are and stormed off. So I, I knew there was going to be some sort of tension. I'm entering a, a territory where I know that half the people there absolutely despise me and despise the publication I write for. But in the other half of the room, they're sort of part of uh, this new media resistance. The sort of old guard media are very disoriented by our presence there. They're functioning under this false guise of impartiality. They've just been doing this for so long with such a bias that they don't even see what they're doing. With your Buzzfeeds, with your Huffington Posts, the reporters are, are blatantly liberal. At the Gateway Pundit, we're blatantly, I'll say, right-leaning. There's a certain irony, I think, to me being a White House correspondent and reporting about the federal government because I hate the federal government. And I'm sure right now every liberal feels the same way that, oh my God, why is the federal government so powerful? Trump's in power. It's like, okay, you guys made it that way. You guys decided that the federal government should, should basically be, be this, this incredible regulatory force in America. And I'm sorry that you don't like who's in power now, but you created the power that currently resides in Washington. I was uh, booked three different times. One by one, all of the talks were canceled. Bard College, that was canceled. Columbia, that was canceled. And then I was booked to speak at NYU. That was delayed due to security concerns. It's flattering in a certain sense if they consider you a threat enough to their liberal agenda in order to uh, ban you from their campus. Are you drinking bourbon on my show? You know, I'm, I'm trying to bring back the, uh, the journalism of the 1950s where people uh, drank bourbon and they actually reported. Right now, the left is in such a reactionary tailspin. And so it does, it does sort of help baiting them. Have you ever read Mein Kampf? Good old Hitler perpetuates this culture of victimization. So everything that's going wrong in his life, or in, in everything that's going wrong in the lives of Germans at the time, right? It's all because of this external force. In, in his case, it's all because of the Jews. And then my life would be so much better. It's bullshit. Um, it's a bullshit way of thinking. It's this disgusting leftist way of thinking that you're not taking ownership of your, of your life, of your reality, of your successes or failures. You're blaming it on an external force. <laughs> Does that make sense? Thanks, guys. For the most part, I, I try to explain to them essentially conservative policy and how it works and how it would benefit everybody, in my opinion. But I'm, I'm fully willing to accept that other people have different uh, points of view, as, as we all should, living in a country as wonderful as America. Right?